that's right folks my biggest review yet hello and yes welcome to another one of my reviews this is my biggest review yet I'm reviewing all of my most of my I've most probably I've got some other things lying about but all my stuff that I could find to do with the Beatles now then as you just saw I have a lot I have stereo box set I have loads of CDs to do with them all together and to do with them by themselves I have books I have a calendar I have playing cards I have old 1960s chewing gum which I haven't eaten and then I've got about 40-50 LPs so I'm going to get straight down to it and I hope you enjoy first of all I'm going to go over my stereo box set which I'm going to take from the middle Here it is, the stereo box set. For those of you who watch my reviews, you will know that I've already reviewed some of these. So I'm not actually going to spend very long on this because I've got so much. I'm going to try and do this all in 20 minutes. Here it is, and you pull it up like so, these little bits of cotton. Oops. And as you can see, you have all the albums behind. Please, please me. With the Beatles. A Hard Day's Night. Rubber Cell. Help. Did I say Rubber Cell back then? I meant Beatles for sound. Of course, this is Rubber Cell. Revolver, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Put them away. I'm going to show you the others. And over here, Magical Mystery Tour, the Beatles, The White Album. Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, Let It Be, and Past Masters. The Past Masters has all of their singles on. So yes, in this one box set, I already have all of their songs. be a real collector, you need to get a lot more than just that. So there's that. Now, I'm going to show you my other Beatles CDs. Um, now, you would have seen two of these in my review before. These two, these are fakes that I got that I couldn't send back. I'm just basically showing these two for fun because I haven't actually got a mono box on me at the minute I did have one but it was really bad condition it's fake it's really bad dodgy copy of revolver and it, this one is also a fake my rubber soul but then this is a real mono CD I only have one I bought this before I decided to get the box set, which, as I said, I haven't got on me at the minute. Having some trouble with that. This is a real mono CD. Hard Day's Night. There's the back, just like the LP. And then the CD. So there they are, 
And then I also have a few of these. These are what I bought before I really got into the Beatles, okay, before I got the stereo box set. I only got a few. I should complete my collection of these really, which I will do eventually. That's with the Beatles. Hard Day's Night. Beatles for Sale. And Help. That's what the CD looks like. They're actually. They're alright. And then I also have these. It's, now this was my dad's. And it's been in his car for God knows how long. So the CD actually broke. So I had to put, I had to remake them onto these other CDs. And because you can't get, I think it's 30 songs on this. No, 27. You can't get 27 songs on one CD. So I had to split them onto two. I will get the new updated version of this as well. This is the Red Album, as many people know it as, um, or otherwise known as 1962 to 66. And exactly the same, but the Blue Album. And then last but not least, um, these are my own little CDs which I've made myself. And this one's rubbish, this one took me like an hour to make. I just quickly printed out a picture and stuck it on from it. Um, I haven't got the Anthology box set yet, I think that's what it's called. Anthology? Something like that. Um, where it shows like all their recordings and stuff and songs they never released. So I just bought three off iTunes. And I bought free as a bird, that means a lot. Leave my kitten alone and if you've got trouble. And then on the actual CD, in between some of them songs, you only have one after 909 and can't buy me love. So I just stuck them on there. I don't think that's how they sound on the anthology one, but I just stuck them on there so I have a bit more to listen to when I play. And I just made that. And then I bought, when it was Christmas, um, Paul McCartney's Christmas song and I put it onto CD and well I thought I'd add some other songs on for when I'm listening to it so then as soon as that one's over oh, we'll get another one. So what I've done is I put a John Lennon song, Happy Christmas, War is Over, and then I put a Paul McCartney one, Happy Christmas, then I put a John Lennon one, Imagine, and I put a Paul McCartney one, Band on the Run, and then so on and so on and so on. And then last but not least, um, this was also before I got the stereo box set. I was just buying little songs off iTunes every now and then and I bought quite a few. So I put them onto CD. This is before I got the stereo box set. And I'll just read out the my favourites. Um, Hello Little Girl, I Saw Her Standing There. Twist and Shout, Money That's What I Want. Um, the night before, run for your life, when I'm 64, continuing story of bungalow field, carry the weight, that weight, the end. I just, they're just the ones I bought off iTunes. And, well yeah, that's it for my Beatles CDs. Now I'll show you the DVDs, but for, I'll show you these first. Um, this is just a little magnet. I'm literally showing everything I have on them, so yeah, we've got a little magnet here. And then, I also have these. These are the chewing gums from the 60s. I have five, two have been opened and most probably eaten in the 60s. And then I've got these other three, I've got them on eBay. There's one. Each one has a song on the back. This is I Feel Fine, then you've got the lyrics. Meet the Beatles, which has I Want to Hold Your Hand. 
in that hyper episode. And that's sealed, so the chewing gum is still in there. And that is Michelle. Again, sealed. The White Album. Revolution. Abbey Road. Come together. Got quite a lot on there. Yeah, I, I think they're quite cool actually, the chewing gums. And then I have four DVDs. I have loads of documentary things of them downstairs recorded on my Virgin Box, but. Well, on my Virgin Box, I can't really show you. I have two Beatles films, um, Have a Hard Day's Night. Um, it's. This is a really good copy. And, um,. I didn't bother buying it on Blu-ray because I have a special um, player which converts these into Blu-ray films, so I don't really need to bother buying them on Blu-ray. The CD is really nice. You get another dish. Show how they made it, and like, well, not how they made it, but you know, like, just seeing the Beatles when they were filming it. This is a um, um, help. This is a crap Japan copy because I'll admit it. I'm cheap. Can't be asked to pay like 15, 20 pounds for help because you can watch it free on YouTube. So I just got this one. It, it, that peer, that picture looks like it was taken from the period of Magical Mystery Tour. This is George Harrison living in a material world. I have the book as well, which I'll show in a bit. Um, this George Harrison got on the first disc. It's about him with the Beatles, and the second disc is. Him after the Beatles. And then I have Paul McCartney Live The Space Within Us. This is really cool. Um, yeah, out of the carbon bit. This was the first ever concert, first ever thing that was beamed up to the space astronauts. And he sung English Tea. And you get a little book. Like with all the stereo CDs. So there's all my DVDs. Um, next, I'll show you my Beatles books. Just grab them. Here, open up the back. Ugh. Okay. My Beatles books. This is Asda's <laughs> very own Beatles book, and it is actually really good. I actually very much enjoyed reading this one. Um, it's just like from beginning to end, really. So you got you got different chapters in this one. Chapters there. I very much enjoyed reading chapter 11, Bigger Than Elvis, which they were, they were more popular at their time. And then this is my favourite Beatles book, my first one as well. This is all pictures taken by the Daily Mail, it's mainly pictures. John with Yoko. And uh, that's Wings, I believe. I love this book, that's the best one that I have. This one, when I went to America for my holiday, went to Orlando, Florida, Disney World. On the way back, I was looking for a book to buy to read on the plane. And I found this. This is from America. So yeah. This tells you about each album. See, please, please me. And then it has the song listings. And then it'll have another little picture. Yeah, it has information. And then it's onto with the Beatles and so on, so on all the way through to Revolver and 
all their own albums. Let it be. So everything, even the singles it has on here, we can work it out. Hey June, don't let me down. Ballanda, John and Yoko. It's great that one. I love reading that one as well. I showed you the DVD. And here's the book, George Harrison, Living in the Material World. This one cost me about twenty pounds. Um, it's okay this one. Um, it's not my favourite, but it's okay this book. This is one that my sister bought me for. I can't remember whether it was for my birthday or Christmas. But a hard day's right. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one's about. I'm, I'm not sure if it's just like. Yeah, it's just like normal Beatles one. You, oh, no, 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 no. I know what this one is now. This is also one of my favourites. They're all good, actually. I haven't got that many, so. It tells you why they wrote each of their songs, which a lot of people will find very interesting. A Hard Day's Night has got a whole page because, it, see, Hard Day's Night, and this is all like telling you why they wrote it. Not every song has a whole page, but here we go. Any time at all, up there. Things we said today, I'll cry instead. It just tells you why they wrote each of their songs. And then, this is my dad's old one as well. Ringo Star postcards from the boys, aka postcards from John and stuff. You can see the picture of the front, and that's what they would have written drawn on the back. It's got some information down the bottom as well. Uh, that one's well, it's alright. So there's all my books. Um, I am getting another book actually. My uh, friend, a relative, said he'll give me his Beatles book. Just put his back. And I'm just basically finishing off now all my Beatles stuff before I move on to their solo stuff. Uh, reaching. Uh, um, these are my little playing cards of Beatles stuff. That's a picture from Paperback Writer Music Video. Hmm. So they're, they're pretty good. My, well, they're nothing hugely special, but they're. Well, I like them. My auntie got them for me on Christmas, and we played with them on Christmas. And um, this is my calendar for 2012, the Beatles. Um, it's mainly like singles front covers and stuff like that. Lady Madonna. All you need is love and baby you're a rich man. Don't let me is that it? Yeah, don't let me down and get back. Just skipping a bit last one. Paperback writer and rain. As I say, I'll show you everything I have on the Beatles. And also this this is the Beatles rock band game. I have the mic and guitar, although I don't really sing a lot, I tend to do the guitar for it. On PlayStation 3, very good. I love doing the online, although it's very hard to get into a game. There you go, that is all my Beatles stuff, really. Um, I'll just show you these as well. Beatles right there. Now, I'm not going to try them on, obviously, but I have some Beatles tops as well. That one. Let it be. Revolver. Abbey Road. I have two tops of Abbey Road. With the Beatles. Abbey Road 2. And just simple the Beatles. 
So I've, that's practically everything that I have on the Beatles apart from the LPs, which I'll show in a minute. So I'm going to move on to their solo stuff now without, so like Paul, without the others and John, without the others. Uh, I'll just show you these first. These are my special John Lennon glasses. I don't actually wear them. I just, they're exactly the same to his. Very cool glasses. They cost about £20. So they actually work quite a bit. I think they look cool. <laughs> I won't wear them though. Um, I'm going to do my John Lennon and George Harrison stuff because I've got more on Paul McCartney so I'll do his stuff next. Um, Alright, so here's my John Lennon stuff. Oh, Lennon Legend. All his hits. His first solo album, Plasticono Band. They all come with little books. The books aren't impressive with this. John Lennon Imagine, which I have coming on vinyl. I won it last night on eBay. It's an original. I could have done this video like in two days or something, so I had it, but I couldn't wait. I wanted to do this video. Everyone knows that, imagine. Um, that's probably his worst solo album, actually. I didn't like this one at all, really. Um, Plastic on a band sometime in New York City. John Lennon Mind Games. I've got this big white line down here. I don't know why it has access to it. It's supposed to have it. No, I did get it from a proper, proper record shop. John Lennon Rock and Roll. I do like this one as well. This one's good. There's a couple of songs on it, but I don't like it. So that's all my John Lennon stuff. Um, and I'll show you my George Harrison stuff now. I didn't show this. This is, um, I'm not sure you have different people singing here. This was made when John Lennon was brutally killed. So there's that. I should have shown that before. But oh well. uh, and then here's my George Harrison stuff. Let it roll. Great. Comes with a book. And then this is my dad. Um, this was made when he died. It only has three songs on, which are "My Sweet Lord," "Let It Down," and "My Sweet Lord." Which, again, the the two thousand version. We didn't have long left then. So there's the George Harrison stuff as well. Just going to scoot back and pick up all my Paul McCartney stuff. So, yeah, my George Harrison stuff. Just get my Paul McCartney stuff. I know most people's favourite Beatle is John Lennon, and there's quite a few like George as well, but my favourite is Paul McCartney, who I think is well-liked as well. It's either John or Paul that people tend to like. So, here it is. This is McCartney, the first one, his first solo album. Um, I love the way these are set out. These are definitely the best out of the Beatles, John Lennon and McCartney. These ones are set out the best. Um, the only song which people will really, really know on here is most probably Maybe I'm Amazed. But I like Ooh You. I like that one. This is Ram. But McCartney Ram. Or Paul and Linda. Get a book here. We're gonna open it. Says some little things in there. Now I bought the fifteen pound one, extra five pound. You get some CD. I think it's just like, well, it's just got bonus audio. Most probably his most successful album about the Beatles, Band on the Run. Great. And then you get the McCartney two. Um, this one um, isn't amazing, but I love the first song on it coming up. It's one of his greatest. I love it. You can probably get jiggy to that. 
kisses on the bottom sounds, mm, but it means kisses on the bottom of the letter. This is his latest, 2005, I think it's 2012, yeah, it's 2012. Then I have your live one here, CD, but it also has a DVD. His best concert, I must probably say, Good Evening New York City. Two CDs, has a book and a DVD. Paul McCartney, all the best, just his hits. It has a book. And then the same, but Wings Greatest, but doesn't have a book. It's not supposed to. And now more of his albums. I have Flaming Pie. This one's great. This one has a book. Um, the song we are singing, Calico Skies and Flaming Pie, great. Run Devil Run has a book. Um, All Shook Up and Run Devil Run and Movie Bag by Light. All Shook Up. I'm not a fan of Elvis, so I'm obviously going to say this, but I much prefer Paul's version. But that's only because I'm not a fan of Elvis. Okay, I think, I think it's called that. Chaos and Creation in the Backyard, yes. Fine Line is good, and English Key is amazing. It's the best, one of his best songs. And I only got this one this morning, so you know. Memory almost full. Um, I love on this one, three songs, Dance Tonight, Only Mama Knows, and That Was Me. The only problem is with my copy of it, it doesn't really have an amazing little book. Uh, the back of it is cracked, so the bloke who sold it to me stuck a picture of Paul on, you can see it stuck on, to cover up the cracks. Okay. Didn't really have to do that, except if it's got a few cracks on. And then I have this one, um, Paul McCartney Live in Los Angeles. Get it open, there we go. So that is basically everything on this side. I know you can't see it, but everything. The only thing which I have left to show are my LPs. I'm not going to talk about them because I don't have enough time. I'm literally just going to flick, flick, flick through them. Okay. Here we go. I have the Beatles' 20 Greatest Hits, which is a parlophone stereo. I have the Red Album, 1962 to 1966 which is on my Apple, and exactly the same on Apple, Blue Album, blah blah, and I have a newer copy of that. I have a British Stereo Parlophone, please please me. I have a British Mono Parlophone with the Beatles. I have another one. And I have another one. And then I have an American Capital Meet the Beatles. And I have another original British mono parlophone, half days now. Original British mono parlophone, Beatles for sale, and exactly the same. Okay. Then I have original British help stereo parlophone, rubber sole British stereo parlophone, original British mono. Parlophone Revolver, Original British Mono Parlophone Sergeant Pepper, Original British Parlophone Stereo Sergeant Pepper, and Capital Original American Sergeant Pepper. Original American Capital. Magical Mystery Tour. And another Magical Mystery Tour. I don't really know a lot about that one. It's one of my off ones. I don't know an unboxing a bit if you want to watch that. Um, a brand new British Stereo Parlophone Magical Mystery Tour. Original British Apple Stereo White Album. Original French Stereo Apple White Album. Original British Apple Stereo Abbey Road. Original British Apple Stereo Let It Be. 
And then, last but not least, an original American Let It Be on Apple. And then I have Paul McCartney, all the best original British parlophone. A French original, still, stereo RAM. Original British, I think it's parlophone band on the run, stereo. Another one where I'm not sure, but band on the run, stereo. Parlophone. Um, an American, but still original, Venus and Mars and Capital. Stereo. Well, all of these are on stereo, so I'm just going to say now. All of these are on stereo, so I didn't need to bother saying it. Wings at the speed of sound, parlophone, original British. Back to the egg. These are all Paul McCartney. Um, original British parlophone. McCartney 2, original British. Parlophone, I believe. I'm not quite sure. And then again, original British Parlophone, tug of war, and original British Parlophone, Broad Street. Give my regards to Broad Street. And then these are all still stereo, but these are John Lennon, the John Lennon collection. Um, I don't have a clue what any of these are. Shaved fish. I have Imagine Coming, original British stereo. I can't show you it in a minute, from this way. But I have Double Fantasy as well. And then my last thing which I have to show you is Ringo. And I know that's stereo. So that's my entire Beatles collection. Um, the only things which I haven't shown you on this are my posters really, because most of them are in the loft. So I don't have them all up, I only have this one. There it is, it's 3D. But yeah, that's it, I've showed you all my CDs, all my LPs, my books. Old chewing gum. I'll show you everything. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and leave a message.